When you authenticate with a password, you authenticate to a specific website that holds a copy of your password, or a hash, which is a mathematical representation of your password. Now, with device-based authentication, you authenticate directly on the device, whether it's a smartphone, a tablet, or computer. The device itself holds the information to authenticate you, and this information never leaves the device. There are multiple ways in which a device could authenticate you. Face recognition, fingerprint scanning, or even a passcode. The important difference here is that this passcode is stored there and never leaves the device, unlike traditional password authentication, which is done between a user and a website or application. With device-based authentication, each device manufacturer, such as Apple, Google, or Microsoft, is responsible for building the authentication mechanism in their devices, and for authenticating users using these mechanisms. Now, for example, Apple has implemented Face ID to authenticate users using face recognition, Touch ID to authenticate users using fingerprint scanning, and passcodes to authenticate users using a numeric code. Websites and applications can leverage device-based authentication using the WebAuthN protocol. Now, this protocol is implemented by all major operating systems and allows websites and applications to check if the user was properly authenticated by the device.